What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 8 of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Career Mode. Last episode, we won the AFL Championship with that match against Sheffield United. We won and we're able to lift the trophy. If you didn't miss that video, make sure to go back and check it out along with the other previous videos that are on this playlist. So, this episode, we're going to be playing this match against Preston. Then, we're going to sim through all of these because well i mean there really isn't any point to playing them because we've already won the league and then after whoops and then after that we'll play the last match of the season against petersburg i think petersburg is oh they're not on the oh wow even chef even Preston is not on the top six anymore and it's only the top six i want to play all right so apparently Preston is not in the starting Sorry, in the top six, so I'm going to play this match against them. I'm going to play the one against Nottingham Forest, and then I'm going to play the Petersburg match because that's the last one in the season. So let's just sim past the Preston match to this day. We are not able to beat Preston. We draw the match, which is rather shocking. But now we are here in the Nottingham Forest match. What's up with the team? Okay, Rivera is injured. When did that happen? That's actually weird. When did, that, when did that happen? Uh, who can I put here? I'm just going to put Gasana up because I mean, I mean, why not? But it's really weird that it's, it's really, really weird that Rivera is injured. So I'm just going to. Oh, it was probably in the previous match, I guess. Yeah, it was definitely in the previous match, and he will not be able to play for the rest of this season. That is really, really bad. That that is really bad because. I mean, what if someone comes and takes his um, golden boot or something? That's really fucked up. Okay, so Rivera has just 25 goals. And this guy, whoever Grant is, in West Brom, is on 21 goals. Meaning that he needs 4 goals to match up to Rivera. And Zaid is all the way on 19. So, it's looking pretty far-fetched for, from, for someone in our team to grab that golden boot. That is if Grant doesn't catch up with Rivera. Well, this should happen, so I'm going to be playing this match. I had to change the kit of the away team because it was kind of clashing with mine, and I really don't want to make those mistakes anymore because it's kind of hard for me to play whenever the kits are like clashing. So I'm just going to jump into this match and I'll talk to you guys after it's over. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's the Blades and they face Nottingham Forest. Well Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? At the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets to the ball, he looks like he's going to score, as his record in recent times will suggest. Three goals in the last three games. He's been brilliant. And the match begins. Early goal there, but it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Oh, what an opportunity! The well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in the last match. What a terrific oh, Derek, big moment here. And it goes down as a chance for him. Well, the cross was good. So too the movement in the box. It is... Fruitful looking attack. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And a fantastic diving save. Textbook defending inside the box. Breaking at pace. Can they keep it going? Oh, could be. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling. And they get the due reward. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. 
we have entered the final minute of normal time. How can they find a late leveller? This could level it, and all square now. And you have to ask the question, is the time for either side to win it? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. And so All right, so I wasn't able to win that match. It was a draw. It was, it was actually really tough for the first half. Nothing happened, really. And then second half, we were able to get our goal. But just at the end, just at the end, we just had to. We just had to. We just had to give it up. But... I mean, it doesn't really matter because all of this is just for plain sake. Alright, so I'm going to sim to the match against Birmingham with my uh, first team. And we're going to see what we can do. We Okay, we're drawing all our matches now. What the hell? Okay, we win against West Brom. I'm going to use my, my second team to sim past this match. And this score... We should definitely win it. Yeah, we do 1-0. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what is happening. Because, like, what happened? Why are we scoring so few, like, so little goals? Is, is it because we already won it? Is that why you get, is that why the players are, like, all laid back and shit? Okay, so the last match is against Petersburg. So I'm just going to sim all the way to here. And then I'm going to play this match and that will be all for the episode. Finally, a 4-1 win. I have no idea what we played against Derby County, so I'm just going to go back to check that out. It was a draw again. So I mean we haven't lost this episode, but that's way too many draws. That that's one, two, three, four draws. And well if we win this then it won't be five draws. So let's see what we can do in this match with our first team. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we're just minutes away from kickoff in the final game of the season. It's Peterborough United against the Blades. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. Oh, it might be. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in their last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. United game, but exactly who? Over to Alex for the details. Yep, it's a goal for Sheffield United. They've scored the opener here with 12 minutes on the clock. It's been a rip. Can they forge ahead? Right over for now, it seems. This looks promising. Takes aim and getting across to stop it. Oh. Plenty of room in the wide area. Now he must favour the cross. A deft clearance. Could be a chance to break here. DeVoe making sure. Can he take the chance? Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Oh.
Well, here it is again, and that's the perfect volley, isn't it? He strikes it so well. What an excellent finish. Grant. Siriki Dembele. Sami Smodix. Can he convert? Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Well, clattered away. Now can they counter clinically? A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Just needs to stay calm. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. But it wasn't a taxing save. Is this the moment? There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes Doesn't seem to be bothering him. They've lost it. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Edwards. And looking towards the back post. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. And that was just the perfect goal to end the episode. That was a really good match. I really wasn't expecting to get up to three goals at the beginning of the match because for some reason the matches are a lot tougher. I have, I have absolutely no idea why, but... I'm so happy we were able to get that win and that goal just shows that we belong in the Premier League and that's where we're going next season. Alright, so our keeper Varchi, Varchi Tovaltin was able to get 22 clean sheets in 46 matches and he's leading he's a leader of the he's a leading clean sheet. Oh my god, he's a clean sheet leader in the league. Okay, so the grand guy actually was able to surpass Rivera and he got up to 26 goals and Rivera just on 25 and we weren't able to get the golden boots to our team. As for the assists, I can't believe that Rivera, that, that Rivera got up to 14 as well as Zaid. So, I mean, Zaid still gets it. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it works, but he's the one on top. So he's the one that gets the um, highest assists in the league, even though they are both tied then for clean sheets as you guys already saw it's Torvalton in our in our league in our team sorry to be honest I honestly cannot believe that we ended up with 123 points that means ever since that match that we lost against QPR is it QPR or Huddersfield one of those two we never lost a match after that which is just crazy so we have we had only one defeat throughout in all 46 games and we were able to get to 123 points. And all these draws you see, I have like in the in this episode that I got all these draws. I got like four draws in this episode and that's why I see six. Even though it, it would have been a lot more than 123, it, it would have reached 130 I guess. Sheffield United was close to 100 as well as Fulham, West Brom, AFC Bournemouth and Nottingham. Between those four, I would like to see who who will be the one to go to the Premier League. The winner of the, of the FA Cup was Chelsea. They beat Millwall. I can't believe Millwall got all the way to 
his finals, they beat Arsenal. They beat Doncaster. They beat Manchester City. Wow. Then Leicester City won the Carabao Cup. They beat Manchester United. So Manchester United won the Champions League against Borussia Mönchengladbach, which just... I'm actually just shocked because how did that team get all the way to the finals? They beat Barcelona. They beat PSG. Wow, they beat PSG. Okay. And then the Europa League was won by Olympic Lyon. They beat Inter Milan. And then the Europa Conference League, Spurs beat SL Benfica. It was West Bromwich Albion that won the, the, the playoffs, so they are the, one, they are the third team that are going to be coming to the Premier League. So speaking of the Premier League, Manchester, Manchester City did win it again with 90 points this time. Uh, Liverpool was second, Manchester United third. Okay, Arsenal got eighth, which is what they got last season, I think. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. It was either eight, eighth or ninth. I think eighth is Conference League. I'm not too sure, but whatever. The three teams that are relegated is Brentford, Southampton, and Norwich. They're going back to the championship this time. Okay, so this is the end of the episode. The World Cup has started. I will also be covering that. I'll be showing you guys the results and who wins it and blah, blah, blah during the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. and Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.